What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Cashed Out. And today we're gonna be talking about how to fix noisy and grainy video. Now, I'm sure you guys have been in this position where you go out, you shoot some video, and then you come back to edit it and you put it on your computer and it just looks noisy. There's like a bunch of white noise and it doesn't look as good as you thought it was, right? So I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to fix that noisy and grainy video and make your footage look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. Now, I'm gonna make the assumption that if you're watching this, you're actually shooting your videos on either a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Just some kind of camera, or maybe something mo even more, but just some kind of camera that you have more robust control over the setting. So that's what I'm gonna make the assumption on. And when we go back to that noisy footage, the main reason typically that you have that noise in your footage is because you don't have enough light coming into your camera to be able to match the settings that you're using. So you're trying to use particular settings, but you're not getting enough light coming in so the camera has to either manufacture artificial light, which is what leads to all of that noise. So I'm gonna explain what all of that means and we're gonna get into the core elements that help you get that clean footage and those clean images, and that's shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. I'm gonna explain what those mean and how they work and how to utilize them to be able to get some really good footage and get rid of all that noise and grain in your images. Now, the first core element we're gonna hit on is the shutter speed. Now, when it comes to setting the shutter speed for video, what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you set that to be about double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at about 24 frames per second, you want to make sure that your shutter speed is about 1 48th per second or 1 50th of a second, right? And that's tip, that's going to vary. I think each camera is a little bit different on that, but you want to be in that 1 48th or 1 50th range with your shutter speed. And what that's going to do is going to make for more nicer and natural looking footage, more nicer and natural looking video, but it's also going to limit, kind of set a limit to the amount of light that's coming in because you're gonna lock in that shutter speed and you're not gonna change your shutter speed. You don't change that shutter speed unless you change your frame rate. So shutter speed, set it to about double your frame rate and lock that in, okay? So that's the first step, first element that we wanna look on. Now, the second element for getting clean images is your aperture and your aperture controls how much light comes into your footage by controlling how wide or how narrow that camera lens opens up, right? So the higher the aperture number, so if you're talking about like F10, F11, F12, you know, those higher numbers, you're gonna have a smaller opening and that's gonna allow for much less light coming into your footage. Now, the lower you get, so once you get to kind of like F4, F3, F2, you're getting a more wider opening with your camera lens and that's allowing for a lot more light to come in. So since your shutter speed is gonna be locked in based on your frame rate, that shutter speed's gonna be locked in and you're not gonna change that, you wanna adjust the amount of light that comes into your footage using the aperture. So the aperture does control light as well. You know, basically all the settings on your camera are all about light control, which is really cool once you understand that. But basically the aperture controls the amount of light that comes in, but it also allows you to control how much background blur occurs. So the lower you go with your aperture, so once you get to like F2.8 or you know F3, those lower apertures, the background is gonna be pretty blurred out, right? And then the higher you go on those apertures, the narrower that gets, and then again, talking about F8, F10, F11, the more clearer your background is gonna be. So when it comes to your footage and getting clean images, you wanna make sure that you use that aperture, you can lower it to that point where you're getting good light coming in without losing the look that you're going for. So you don't wanna blow out the background if you want it to, to stay detailed, right? You don't wanna to go too low and blow out your background if you wanna keep the details in the background. So that's where you play around with that aperture and since you can't change the shutter speed, the only thing that you can change is the ISO, which is the third element that we're gonna talk about. Now, the ISO basically allows you to be able to increase the light in your footage without changing the aperture or the shutter speed. So obviously, you got the shutter speed locked in, you got the aperture where you want it, where you've got that good looking image, you know, the background's not too blurred out or, you know, whatever you want based on the aperture, you got that locked in. Now, if you wanna add more light into your footage, you want to adjust that ISO and a lot of times if you're finding yourself with noisy and grainy footage is because that ISO you either adjusted it too high or you let the camera control that and typically the camera will adjust that automatically for you if you're shooting like aperture priority and if you're not in manual mode the camera is going to take that over but a lot of times if it if the camera is controlling that it'll bump that ISO higher in order to make the image brighter based on your other settings so the ISO basically manufactures 
manufacturers um, artificial lighting to be able to bump up that light in your footage. So if you lower the ISO, you're gonna lower the amount of noise because the more artificial light is added, the more noise and the more grain you see in your footage. So if you're seeing a lot of grainy footage, it's because there's probably a ton of ISO in there. So if you lower that ISO and adjust your aperture, you're gonna be able to get much cleaner looking footage without all that noise and all that grain. So make sure that you're playing around with those three elements, your shutter speed, your aperture, and your ISO. Those are crucial for making sure that you get clean footage without all that noise and without all that grain. Those are the core elements when it comes to clean images. Now let's do a quick walkthrough and I'll just kind of walk you through how I clean up some nasty or grainy looking footage. So as you can see here on this footage, we have a clip of my cell phone just sitting on the desk. Um, not Nothing too exciting about it. But if you look at this footage, you can see that it's super grainy. It's super noisy. There's a lot of white noise and it doesn't look clean. It's bright, but it's not very clean. So as you can see on the settings here, the ISO is extremely high, way, way, way high. And the reason for this obviously is if you don't have enough light in the room and you don't want to play with the aperture settings, then ISO is really your only other option. But the byproduct of that, like we talked about, is more noise and more grain in your footage. So let's start off by lowering the ISO for this clip. So as you can see, as we lower the ISO on this clip, it's getting darker and darker and darker to where, you know, it's gonna get to a point where you really can't see anything, right? Because we got the ISO down low and typically you wanna get your ISO down to a nice level. And it's different with every camera. Every camera has a different level where you'll still be able to get nice clean footage with a high ISO. The new Sony a7S III is actually really good at low light. You can get some really clean footage at high ISO levels, but there are some other cameras where once you get to like over a thousand ISO or you get to like six or 800 ISO, the footage starts getting really grainy and really noisy. So you just wanna play around, get an idea of where your camera stays clean and you wanna just make sure you keep your ISO in that range so that your footage doesn't get noisy and grainy. So we're gonna lower the ISO down here to about a thousand ISO here and then for this image let's go ahead and start since we basically have it all blacked out because the ISO is so low let's go ahead and start turning down the aperture and we're gonna lower that aperture down to I would say about f4 uh, maybe 3.5 f4 3.5 range right here as you can see the as it goes down as the aperture goes down obviously the image keeps getting brighter and now you're looking at about f3.5 at, at about a thousand ISO and the image looks cleaner way cleaner than it did at the beginning of it as you kind of see at the side-by-side -side comparison here so playing around with that ISO and getting that lower and keeping it in that good range for your camera is probably the most important part of getting clean images. You make sure you have a good light source, uh, control that aperture, make sure the shutter speeds are set right, and then play around with that ISO and just get it to that point where you're getting good lighting coming into your footage without a ton of the extra noise. That's the tip for today, guys. Just wanted to walk you through how to clean up some of that noisy, grainy footage. So hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this kind of helped you get some better clips and better images for your channel and if it did be sure to like this video subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and uh, tune in next time right here on cashed out take it easy